In two weeks, Theta are launching the Theta Edge Cloud platform. Welcome back to the channel, folks. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. On May 1st, Theta are finally launching V1 of their Edge Cloud platform. The tools and dashboards will be available for developers to start using the platform with a load of the top AI models like Metalama 2, Google Gemma, as well as support for Jupyter Notebook. V1 is basically going to include all of those models as templates for developers to choose from. The platform is also going to have full payment integration with Stripe, and then shortly after that you'll be able to pay directly with T-Fuel tokens. T-Fuel is the native token of the Theta Edge network. Everyday users can also benefit from the Theta Edge cloud platform by hosting a Theta Edge node, which basically allows you to share the idle processing power from your own PC or Mac when you're not using it, and that's then used to complete tasks like video and image processing, as well as AI tasks for those developers. You are rewarded with T-Fuel tokens based on the resources you're able to share and the tasks they can complete. You can also choose to stake tokens to your edge node to become an elite edge node, which earns you additional rewards, although that does require you to stake a minimum of 10,000 T-Fuel tokens, which is roughly $800 at the current price. There is also another update coming on the 26th of June. A new edge node client will be released with a feature called Elite Plus Booster, and that will allow people with an elite edge node who have 500,000 T-Fuel tokens staked to their node from one wallet to earn additional rewards. There is also the Theta a hackathon coming up, although an official date for that hasn't been announced yet. That's a big part of their plan to attract new developers to Edge Cloud and the whole Theta ecosystem. Obviously, the entire market is down right now. Bitcoin's down about 13%. Altcoins across the board are down around 20 to 30%. It was ultimately triggered by the escalation of the conflict in the Middle East, which we would typically class as a black swan event, something that wasn't priced into the market at all, and that's why it had such a dramatic effect. However, something a lot of people are missing out right now is that the current price action isn't actually that unusual. We're just over a day away from the Bitcoin halving, and when you look back in history you'll notice it's actually quite common for us to see a decent sized correction right before the halving. The size of the correction we've seen isn't any bigger than pre-halving corrections we've seen in previous cycles, and it's actually very likely that this move or at least some form of correction would have happened regardless of current events. The thing is, large moves in crypto always have a trigger, and I think in this case, the news about the escalation was just the trigger that Bitcoin needed to see that correction. Let's go ahead and look at the theta chart, see what our key levels are and what prices we can expect when the bull run inevitably continues. I just want to quickly shout out my free telegram group where we've been discussing theta a lot recently, you can go ahead and join that using the link in the pinned comment. Alright, here we are on the theta chart. Coinciding with the Bitcoin correction, we did have a big correction for theta, down as much as 42% at one point. Was just a quick dip because we have this major support here at $1.90 and we did bounce actually all the way back up to $2.28 when Bitcoin went up to 66k again before of course correcting again all the way down to just above 60k although now Bitcoin has seen a nice reversal we're actually sitting up around 63.5k again you can see that reflected on Theta until we're able to get back above the 65.8k level on Bitcoin I would expect us to consolidate in this range here a little while between $1.90 and $2.28. Continue out here when we hit around 66k on Bitcoin, all the way up to just around $2.50. Very little resistance between these two levels. $2.50 is going to be another major level of resistance, being a psychological milestone. Do expect some resistance breaking above that. We would definitely need to be above the 66k level on Bitcoin to see that happen for Theta. Continuing on upwards from that, our next level is $2.75. Something very noticeable on Theta, these psychological milestones like 250, 275, 3 dollars, 3 dollars of course being a very significant level as well. Once we do break back above the 69k level on Bitcoin, I would expect us to start breaking this 3 dollar level. That is going to be super bullish again for altcoins. Once we do break above that level, that takes us into the realm of testing the local high again. Up here at 3 dollars 80, we would want to see Bitcoin again testing its all time high up at 73.5k. On Theta, of course, we are still a long way from our previous all-time high. The next target after $3.80, which is marked out in green there, is going to be $4.38. With these two local highs and significant resistance back here, beyond that, you're going to be looking at $5. I do these Theta updates regularly, so we'll revisit this in a couple of weeks, once we really see what direction the market's heading in. And of course, when the Theta Edge Cloud launches. The Theta Edge Network's actually very similar in a lot of ways to the Render Network, 
network, which I covered in my last video, go ahead and check that out. Or this one to find out why Theta isn't listed on Coinbase yet. I've been me, you've been you, thanks for watching, and see you later.